Hello my friends, and welcome to another episode of Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards. Welcome to the finale, where we will go ahead and go to the Dark Star. Of course, you know, without a way to end the game, we also have a true final boss. So we're gonna go ahead and go and fight this asshole. This, the, the big bad, the person behind this whole thing. Of course, we're gonna get rid of this. We don't really need it. We have no use for abilities anyway in this in this upcoming final boss fight. You thought Miracle Matter was the final boss fight? Oh, hell no. Traditionally, Miracle Matter was kind of the final boss fight, just because how unique it was as a fight. You actually had to use its own weakness against it. But uh, this level's actually fairly ridiculously short. Literally, it's just only one room. After that, we got Waddle Doo, or not Waddle Doo, Waddle Dee, to show us the way down here. All right, guys. Are you guys ready for this? Here we are. We got the final boss. And there's Adeline. Wishing us good luck. Aw, oh, you even gave us a one-up? Aw, oh, you're too kind, Adeline. Probably knows that I'm gonna die a lot. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, DDD. Let's do this. Here we go. By the way, I absolutely love the final boss music in this game. Yeah, do you remember this guy from uh, Kirby's Dream Land 2? Yeah, well, he's back, and of course he, uh, you know, wants to say hi to us, and uh, he happens to be the big bad behind this whole thing. And he, now he looks like an angel instead of a big giant oval with a bleeding eye. So, yeah, welcome to the finale of Kirby 64, where we have the final boss, Zero Two. So, uh,. Yeah, Zero Two has got, got new wings and a uh, new form, pretty much. Takes takes form of the angel. <laughs> so, yeah. By the way, the music here, I already didn't acknowledge it before, is fucking awesome. I love the final boss music in this, and I'll let you guys listen to it. I'll be quiet for a little bit. Alright, so in this fight, all you really have to do is just go around in circles and pretty much just shoot it in the eye. And here, uh, you just shoot a uh, direct dead center in the his his head, where the halo is, and you just shoot at his butt, if you can, if you can get hits on it, like that. Just get a few hits on it. You can't really get him on the first try, though, due to the fact that, it, that he's, you know, gaping his asshole in, and he's trying to protect his little turd from coming out of him. No, no. <laughs> I was just being disgusting. But yeah, he's... That's his weak point, pretty much. And this fight's pretty crazy. But basically, the strategy of this fight, just go around in circles and hit his eye as much as you can. And then, when he goes in... When he gets hit in the eye too much, he'll be like... And you gotta hit him in the halo. And then hit him in the head where the bandage is. And then hit him in the little uh, spiky turd that he has on the bottom of him. So, yeah. My finger is hurting from pressing the B button, by the way. Oh, here we are. Carefully don't get hit by the green gas. You can get heat. You can get hit easily in this. So, try to be careful when you do fight this guy. Um, yeah, but th this, this is probably the most effective way to fight him. There we go. Yeah, usually you can hit him if you keep, like, actually, if you're at the top of the uh, degree of the uh, circle. And here, you can you can hit him easily, but it's just, it's really hard to predict where you're going to hit him. And, oh, we did a lot of damage there. Let's see if we can get a little bit more damage in. And... Alright, one more round and he should be dead. But yeah, this is this is pretty much it, guys. So honestly, what a way to freaking end off this game is to bring back a freaking boss from Kirby's Dreamland 2. Or not Dreamland? Is it Dreamland? 2? No, it's Dreamland 3. That's right. It is Dreamland 3. It is one of the Dreamland games, at least. But yeah, this this fight, the big bad. I had to correct myself there. I'll probably put an annotation in the video and correct myself too. But yeah, this. This is the man behind it all, or thing, angel thing, and he's almost dead here. Guess what, Zero Two? Your game ends here! Now go eat shit and die.
that's that's pretty much it. Out of the Dark Star we go. And we celebrate our victorious trek to saving the world. <laughs> the one of D can barely wear the freaking thing. Aww. Ribbon. Look what you made Kirby do. <laughs> Clumsy Kirby. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Honestly. I thank you guys for watching this LP, and it was, it was a lot of fun to do. Um, of course, I'm going to show off what happens if you don't get all 75 shards. Um, that's a lot of shards. I don't even think that's like... I don't even think we even got 75. Apparently it says if you get all 75 shards, then yeah, you do that. But man, that's insane. But yeah. I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I appreciate all the feedback that I've gotten, because this was a very well-received LP, and uh, honestly, I, I appreciate it a lot, and I thank you guys for watching. It was, it was awesome, and I, I love this game to death, and uh, of course, with all the help, and uh, of course, with all the help of my friends, uh, helping me out, like, telling me, you know, where some of the crystals were, actually, majority of the crystals. Um, so I didn't like end up getting screwed up and having getting all confused of where they are. I got hinted at them in a multitude of times, um, and uh, I'm I'm happy to be able to play this game again. And yeah, and it's thanks to the flea market that I got this from. So, uh, man, my childhood came back to me after this. It's it's freaking insane. Uh, I don't I don't know what to tell you, man. I just. Man, it's, it puts a tear in my eye to be able to play this game again and actually really enjoy it. Of course, you know, fighting Zero Two. Look at that bleeding eye. I love that friggin' artwork of Zero Two. I don't know why they didn't implement that in the actual fight, whereas, like, I was bleeding in that. That would've been awesome. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards. And, uh, there's nothing more to it. 100% completion. That was my practice file. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say. Uh, is this was an awesome trek, honestly. Um, I guess I guess in order to really show that uh, appreciation uh, appreciation of this guy, let's delete my file. Just kidding. I'll see you guys next time for another episode of Groovy Sixty Four. Actually, you know what? We could show off the mini games and the boss battle. No, uh, not the boss battles. We could show off the mini games, so might as well. We'll show off the mini games portion of this. All right, so we got three games. We got hundred yard, uh, hundred yard yacht, hundred yard hop. We got bumper crop bump and checkerboard chase. First thing we're gonna do is hundred yard hop. <clears throat> this one's actually kind of uh, annoying <laughs> if if you don't know what you're doing. But here we're just gonna go ahead and play, and uh, I'm gonna play my my boy, the Waddle D, because I love Waddle D. Waddle D is awesome. And of course, you got difficulty levels. Um, here, you can actually. Um, th this is really easy. Um, the B button is the one hop, and the A button is the two hop. And pretty much all you have to do is like effectively, basically get to the be the first one. They hit the finish line. And it's not that hard of a game. I usually just like to short hop my way through this, because it's probably the best way to do it without fucking up. And we slipped. <laughs> oh crap. Damn it. Alright, and we did it. We did it! <laughs> 43 seconds. Yeah, good way to end off this finale, right? Just play mini games at the end. <laughs> and we did it. Yeah. Play again, play another game. All right, so we'll show off the next one. Bumper crop bump. And play Waddle Dee, just because Waddle Dee's awesome. And uh, we could play in the other difficulties, but I didn't unlock the other difficulties, unfortunately, so. I'm stuck with uh, easy difficulty for all the games. I'm only gonna show them off. It's just it's it's settled that way. And the music, uh, of course, the music is very charming. 
Thanks. <laughs> I love this game. You can bully someone so much in this. Aw, oh, I almost got it. Aw, oh, damn you, Waddle Dee. Ha! <laughs> miss made you miss your fruit. Grab that. Ah. Ah. You can actually screw people over in this game too, it's pretty funny. Ah. Damn it. Get out of here, DDD. You jerk. Alright. Grab this. <laughs> I have so much fruit right now. I wish this game wasn't so ridiculously slow. Oh! Well, this is when all the fruits fall. And this is the game turner. This is anyone's game really now. And I got 27 compared to everyone else. Holy crap, 29. Yeah! And we win! Yeah! <laughs> and we'll play another game, and we'll show off the one last game. And like I said, I appreciate you guys watching, and honestly, I appreciate all the feedback that I've gotten, even in part one. I honestly, reading the comments, like, you guys know how to make me smile, and I love it. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. And, uh, this, this, this game is actually really fun. It's, it's, it's a fun way to screw your friends over if you, like, have friends coming over to- Oh, god damn it! If you have friends coming over to play in that it's a really fun game i used to play this game a lot um it's kind of hard at times and double kill got yeah all right yeah and this this is one of my favorite games to play with friends especially when i was younger oh there we go and uh yeah this is this, this mini game is kind of hard it's like it's because it's a big clusterfuck you don't know what's going on sometimes and i just screwed that out of line over all right, and uh, yeah. Oh, double kill, maybe? Nope, one, okay, that works. And we'll, uh, yeah, this is, this is a really fun and unique game. It's definitely probably the most unique mini game that I've seen out of any game. And uh, yeah, it's pretty addicting. I could probably play this all day if I wanted to. I know playing on an expert difficulty with a computer is just ridiculous. Computers like to be cheaters. Oh shit, oh crap. I got screwed over there. Oh, did not mean to hit my microphone there. Haha! -ha. Screw you. Oh, oh shit. The arena gets smaller. This is where the game gets really intense. Oh, well that guy's dead. Oh, no, bad Adeline. Ah, <laughs> uh, I feel bad for that computer. That one, that has a friggin' suck. Alrighty. I appreciate, I, honestly, I appreciate get you guys watching. Um. And I'll see you guys for another Let's Play. At least a small one. And to end off this, we'll, deal, we'll delete our file. Nah, just kidding. Boom!